you've just incorporated Exchange 2013 into your environment, but realized that your Active Directory namespace was something that wasn't routable on the internet. Maybe you named your internal namespace company.pri, but the external namespace is company.com. Well, you've got a problem. You need to rewrite your email addresses. There's a way you can accomplish that in Exchange 2013 by using the Exchange 2010 Edge role, along with a couple of PowerShell commandlets. I recently put together a series for CBT Nuggets on the 70-341 exam, and in this upcoming micro nugget, I'll show you how to rewrite your email addresses so that your company.pri becomes a company.com. But as I said before, the email address policies are the left side of the email address, everything before you get to the at sign. To modify those that are at the right side of the email address or everything after the at sign, you have to do that. You generally perform that action uh, at your perimeter. So if you have uh, a third-party gateway, your third-party gateway would handle doing what is called the address rewrite. And I will just write this down here, address rewrite to turn .pri into .com company.pri into company.com. Common activity, common thing to be done at the perimeter because that's something you want to happen only when the messages generally are out on the internet. On the inside, you probably want to keep things in that private namespace. Now, if you do happen to have an Exchange 2010 machine, so uh, an Edge server that's Exchange 2010, and that Exchange uh, 2010 Edge server is sitting at your perimeter. It's handling the Edge services for you and routing things out on the internet on your behalf. There is a way that's built into the Edge server to actually accomplish the address rewrite. Now, address rewriting, uh, actually, I've got a little code here that I've copied into, let's see, the, uh, the PowerShell ISE. And I bring this up just because it's something you should probably be aware of. So this is, this is code that you would run on your Exchange 2010 Edge server. And in order, to get these, in order to get this Edge server up and running, you have to do a couple of things first, not the least of which is to enable the specific transport agents that do the rewriting both on the inbound and outbound side. This is important because without those, you're probably not going to have the, the necessary stuff in place to be able to run the next two, either of the next two commands, which is to the new address rewrite entry commands. The first is going to rewrite a single address. This is just the text label. This is the internal address and then the external name or external address that you intend on rewriting. If you're looking for an entire domain, well, then you can just do company.pri into company.com. So this gives you, at the edge, the ability to create that rewrite so that anyone with company.pri, when they send the mail out to the internet, it will automatically be converted over to something that's routable like company.com. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.